Are you comfortable now that you're strapped in? No, what do you think, Tom? I can't believe how small this plane is. At least I use deodorant. <laughs> oh. Well, lucky for me, you were going to Brisbane as well and had a, a seat on the plane for me. Well, that's no problem. This is the first time I've ever been in a small plane and I'm really nervous. Can you tell? Yeah, it's kind of obvious. Uh, I'm, I'm actually afraid of flying. And when I'm afraid, I get nervous. And when I get nervous, I can't stop talking. I was actually booked on a regular airline flight and it suddenly got cancelled because the propeller fell off. <laughs> oh, that's the kind of thing that wrecks your whole day. <laughs> Just relax. Don't be nervous. I'll be gentle. Well, how long is this flight going to take anyway? Uh, two hours. Well, that's no good. I'm due to star in another play in 20 minutes' time. You're going to have to do something better than that. Well, I mean, if we go downhill, we'll go a bit quicker. <laughs> oh, and what's this? A parachute? It's a headset. Put it on so we can, can communicate easily. And I can turn hers off. Can you hear me clearly? I hear you loud and clear. That's supposed to be plugged in. <laughs> One, two, three, test, test. Four, five, six, roger that. Well, that's better. Oh. Why didn't you do that in the first place? Well, before I forget. Do you mind witnessing the document for me? What is it? I will. Why? <laughs> in case we don't make it. In case we die in a crash or something, I want everything to go to my daddy. I came into this world with nothing, and I still have most of it left. Look, I didn't really plan on crashing. Did you know it's 29 times safer to fly than it is to drive? Plus, I just graduated from flying school. What could possibly go wrong? Aren't pilots supposed to have stripes on their shoulders? Uh, only the good ones. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry that we couldn't bring all your luggage. We're limited by the size and weight of the aircraft. We couldn't possibly bring everything. Well, I only brought the necessities. What about you? Do you even think to bring a toothbrush for overnight? Or do you just think, she'll be right, mate? <laughs> what about changing undies? <gasps> or do you just turn them inside out for another day? Well... Oh, don't answer that. That was a rhetorical question. You do know what a rhetorical question is. Yes, I do. You oh. didn't have to answer that. That was a rhetorical question. <laughs> Come on, you're being very nice. And this plane looks really old. It's old enough to be a classic. Isn't the true definition of a classic something that has value? So how long have you been a pilot for, did you say? What time is it? <laughs> I was only joking. I've been a pilot for most of my adult life. And how old are you? 20 going on 12. So what do you do for a normal job? Well, by night, I'm actually a stand-up comedian. However, I had to take in this job to make ends meet. You know, to feed my 17 kids. That's if you're from the tax office, of course. I really only have two. One of each. Oh, a boy and a girl? No, a cat and a dog. I'm not really married. I have AIDS. What? <laughs> Aviation-induced divorce syndrome. Happens to most pilots. I used to be married to an air hostess. Well, at least she was, until she got pregnant. Oh, is that what you call a pilot error? Oh. <laughs> so, Mr. Stand-Up Comedian, tell me a joke. I can't. Because I'm sitting down. I'm a stand-up comedian, get it? Oh, I'm so funny. Oh. And I had to get the only sitting, flying, unfunny stand-up comedian in the world. Before we get on our way, let me do a uh, safety Procedure. Oh, good. While you do that, I'll read this. In the unlikely event of an emergency, no masks will fall out of the ceiling. If you are <laughs> acting like a child, do me a favour and let me put my mask on first before uh, you pass out. <laughs> okay, um, if you check the back uh, in the pocket of your seat, you'll find a safety card. It is very beautiful and has lots of nice pictures on it.
And what's all that other paperwork for? Well, you see, this is my flight plan, so Control Tower know where I'm going. Next, we have a book so I know how to land. <laughs> my trusty map so I know where I'm going. My checklist that I haven't checked. And finally, my favourite, my script, so I know what to say next. Oh, oh. very professional. Why don't you learn your checklist instead of just reading it? Clear, prop. Damn! What oh. have you got to say for yourself now? I don't know. My script just flew away. At least I got my map, so I know where to go. And what to do when you get there. So, um, how come we can go around the corners without you even turning the steering wheel? Well, I can control, I can steer the plane with my feet. Do you see these two pedals down here? If I push the, the right one, we go right, and if I push the left, we go left. It's a bit like a billy cart. Have you ever driven a billy cart before? What I do and don't do in my spare time is none of your business. Alrighty then. Uh, do you know the name of the spinny thing at the front of the plane? The propeller. Yeah, and do you know what the propeller does? To move us forward. No, it's actually a big fan. It keeps the pilot and the cast members cool. And you know it's true, because if it stops, the pilot begins to sweat. <laughs> I can't take much more of this. The plane's too small, the pilot's too thick, and the jokes are all crap. Markadilla Tower, this is Golf Uniform November on the northern apron looking for an eastern departure. Request taxi. Taxing to holding point Alpha 1, runway 33 and a third. How do you even understand that? It sounds like Chinese to me. Well, <clears throat> you see, over time you are uh, developing ear for it. Golf uniform November, ready for takeoff. The ears want fries for that, eh? <laughs> uh, sorry, wrong frequency. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Golf uniform November, ready for takeoff. Making a right turn. Uh. That's right, loser. <laughs> so, golf uniform November, that's a top call sign, isn't it? Well spotted. I'm glad to see you're a fan of 80s cheesy aviation movies as well. Oh. I feel the need, the need to puke. <laughs> instruments for someone with such a small brain. What do they all do? Well, you see, this one's airspeed, horizon, altitude, balance, gyro, and, uh, uh, BSI. That's the one. Gee, you really know your stuff, don't you? Look, we're not really flying on the instruments. We're flying visually. The rule is to see and to avoid. We see another plane, or a mountain, we avoid them. And what happens if we need to fly through a cloud? Uh, well then we fly on instruments. Well, I guess we're not ready then. Why not? I'm qualified for this scenario. I didn't bring my piano with me. Another comedian, eh? So who can play at this game? <laughs> and you're not even good oh. at that either! Oh. Look, I didn't really mean musical instruments. I meant the flight instruments. Well, did you see last night's aviation program on Channel 7 last night? What was it about? Air crash investigations. The pilot had a heart attack while flying. Everyone on board died. Nice. <laughs> An 
and in a non-stop, 17 seasons of it. I learnt in one episode why you have to adopt the brace position. To kiss your ass goodbye? No! Oh. To protect your teeth so you can be identified in case you die in a crash. Why don't you try a romantic comedy? That'd be a bit more appropriate. Where do you get off judging my choice of TV program? Are you a TV critic as well as an idiot? Uh, that's, that's not what I meant. It's a bit like listening to heavy metal right before going to a classical music concert. It really doesn't put you in the mood. Uh, I'll turn the radio off. It saves battery power. Fine, I'll listen to my music. Brisbane Tower, this is Golf Uniform November. Uh, this is Golf Uniform November. I seem to be, uh, um, oh, fuck, I'm lost. Thanks for the offer, but no thanks. It's against my religion. I'm, I'm flattered, but I'm not going to accept that. I wasn't offering. I'm not really in the mood for anything other than getting back on the ground. Golf Uniform November, have you got a problem or are you just trying to annoy me? My passenger is a really nasty piece of work, and she's been on my case since I left Mockadilla. Ah, women. Well, I have a saying. You can't live with them, and you can't live with them. <laughs> <laughs> That's not helping. What's your real situation? Well, we're up in the cloud, and all I can see is zeros and ones. I got lost after I had to divert a hole in the ozone layer. Go off uniform in November. It's not oh. my job to look after idiot pilots like you who get lost. Just tell your passenger that you're temporarily uncertain of your position. That's the official term we use in aviation to indicate that we're <laughs> lost. We don't want them to start panicking, do we? Roger. My name's not Roger. It's Duke. What was your last confirmed position? Uh, takeoff. Off <laughs> uniform in November. I have you on radar. If you're heading for Brisbane, you're going the long way round via Europe. You're taking away from your destination. Turn left, heading zero nine zero. Okay, heading left. Zero five zero. Golf uniform November. That heading will take you to Antarctica. <laughs> I repeat, turn left, heading zero nine zero. All right, heading zero nine zero. Thanks for the help. Uh, so uh, what's new in Brisbane Tower today? Well, I'm retiring. Today is my last day at work. My family are too busy to care about an old bloke like me. And since my divorce, even my little princess doesn't come to see me so often. <laughs> I'm tired and I need to sort of retire and relax. Take the dog for a walk, drink some wine, and just generally drink some beer. Oh, sounds like you'll be living the life. I tell you what. If I make it back in one piece, I got a gig tonight. How about you come watch me perform, and then uh, afterwards we go get drunk, start a couple fights, and by the end the girls might look a little prettier, if you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> okay, you got a deal. Fax me the details. Fax? How about you just meet me at the terminal after I land? Okay, so what do you do as a performer? Uh, are you, in a, you a dancer? Or do you play the triangle in a group? 
Or do you just play with yourself? <laughs> I'm actually a stand-up comedian. Ah, okay. Tell me a joke. I can't. Because I'm sitting down. I don't get it. And they say pilots are a bit thick. I can't tell you a joke because I'm sitting down and I'm a stand-up comedian. Huh? <laughs> I hope tonight's audience are a bit brighter than these two or it's going to be a long night if I have to explain every joke. Look out for the birds! <laughs> yeah, they think they own this place. I doubt they have the medical or their licence. Hey, I think that one's just flipping a human. Uh, what is that? Oh, just a bit of turbulence. Look out the horizon. Uh, It'll make you feel better. I would say fasten your seatbelt, but this is a no-budget production. Uh, I think I've had enough now. Can we stop moving the plane? You don't look so good. You're not going to make a pizza on me, are you? Oh, get me out of here. Whoa, little lady, where do you think you're going? Golf Uniform November. Can you confirm that operations are normal? Radar shows you all over the sky. You're flying in circles. Please hold on. Please stand by. Do you want some wine? Golf Uniform November, you're cleared for a visual approach, straight in. Do you know the difference between a good and a great landing, Kelly? Well, in a good landing, everybody survives. However, in a great landing, we can use the plane again. Golf Uniform November, you're clear to land a runway 42, Winnie the Pooh. Bingo! Oh, <laughs> 